So we're going to start with second finger on D string. Move, make it a little space from first finger and that will get you F sharp. And then the next note is A. We're going to try fourth finger today. Fourth finger. You can use open A, but fourth finger is better for technique. And here's the trick. If your wrist is straight this way, your fourth finger will reach nicely. But if your wrist is coming up this way, because you need to hold the violin, then you see the pinky kind of just shrinks. It withdraws this way and wouldn't be in tune. So you want the fourth finger to a pretty straight out. By doing that, you need to straighten up the wrist. And it would help if you have a shoulder rest as well. That would be a lot easier to hold the violin and be able to free the left hand. Okay, so get second finger ready. We go F, A, A. Do that again. Let's try that one more time from the beginning. Second finger ready, fourth finger stretch it out. You can try a few times. In the beginning, your fourth finger may not be in tune right away, and you most likely you're a little flat, but you only need to do a tiny little bit more. It's not that far away. One, two, three, four. to A string, B, D, D. One, three, three. And then second finger close to three. And we play it one more time. beginning like second finger on D string F sharp and then fourth finger two four four now we go on onto A string because this time we go towards E string once. Open E and first finger F sharp. this once more.
Now let's go from the beginning slowly. Second finger on D string, we get ready. Fourth finger, get ready. Mm -hmm. 